a few things I wanted to say uh, before I go to, to the stadium. Uh, because in, to my mind, and Otenda uh, Amola, yes, you are right, as I said last time, that I first met him uh, face to face when I was uh, elected into a position in national leadership of, of uh, business people. And uh, that is when uh, we went to donate that vehicle. I was talking about to him, not for him to drive, but for him to donate to other charitable organizations that, 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 that uh, he did. And um, we were not as lucky as, as uh, Linturi to receive a million, but, but at least we, <laughs> we, we received his, his, his blessings. You know, um, if you look at Dibal, when Kenyans are reading now the history of Moy, and, and uh, the day before yesterday I tried to comb uh, some of the libraries around, and I was trying to look for concrete memoirs of Moy. Uh, and, and I saw that book, Moy at, Moy at 90 and others. But, but I think there's yet to be a good one, one, one concrete, concrete uh, memoir of, of, of Moy that people can look at. Because, uh, you know, there are very unique things about Moy that, 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 that people will get to realize if you look at his history in deep. You know, you know Moy led this country in top positions of leadership shy of 40 years, just one year. He was in, in top leadership for 39 years, from when he first got elected in 1963 up to when he left, he, you know, first as a member for Baringo North and then back to being a member for Baringo Central. And, and for 39 years, I don't think anyone else alive will probably ever get close to that kind of uh, favor, in, even by the Almighty, to be in that position. Remember that since when he got elected in 1967 as a member for Baringo Central, he was inherited by his own son after all those years, Gideon Moy. And, 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 and the, the, the unique things, even in his previous history, because I believe so many things he stood for then are the things that, that, that uh, as, as Lintur was saying, we, start, we, 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 we are yearn for now. I don't think there's another, any other definition, uh, Dibal, of a hustler that you def define more than Moy. I mean, the guy was an orphan. The man was an orphan. Going to school 160 kilometers away, being housed by relatives. And, and you remember that, that story that ran sometimes in the daily is that he walked 240 kilometers to, to sell a cow and buy a Bible. And, and so sometimes when you try to trace back, where would some of his uh, strengths have emanated from as, 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 as a leader? How, how would he have been so lucky? Because, because he was favored, whether we believe it or not. It, you just don't stumble into that kind of thing and, and, and get to live the life he, he lived up to where he is, even to very ripe age, uh, Dibal, if you don't have the favor of God for those that are Christians, I'll tell you. He was absolutely favored. And so if you look at that trajectory, I believe there's a lot to learn. I mean, the guy represented, when I, when I spoke about Hasla, I mean, rising to that top uh, position of leadership, but but even from the extreme of, 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 of humility, uh, he was a teacher. Uh, you read a story the other day in your in your paper that that that, that he ruled and, and and had grip of power of a white collar degree degree holders in, in in the entire of this republic for so long. And and so I, I, I would want to say that that uh, this this is a man that was uniquely blessed. Uh, his history will be rich, especially for those of, he, of, of us that may have similar backgrounds, and those many that will, be, will still continue to be, to be born in the same, uh, same background. Mm -hmm. And, and um, lastly, because in this new constitution, once we got the new constitution, part of the biggest agitation was representation of the marginalized communities. But, but uh, no, Moy did this way, way before. Uh, would, would you make a sound argument, Debal, today? and say that the Kalenjin community is among the majority communities. It isn't. Indeed, even from the sub-tribe he came from, uh, the, the Tugen, they're even a minority within the Kalenjin. And, and, and so you'd, you'd ask, how did this guy stand for so many <laughs> unique things and, 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 and yet be able to, to rise to where, where he rose? So, so because I'll be heading to the stadium in a, in a short while, Dibal, let me take the opportunity to uh, say that uh, may God rest his soul in eternal peace. I'll be among those who will be mourning him in uh, the stadium. I'll proceed to Kabarak tomorrow.
uh, with uh, most of my people from uh, Kiambu County uh, to pay our last uh, respect to him. We believe that there's a lot that this country can uh, learn from his uh, leadership. And also, I think the treat that he leaves us to honor and remember is that treat of humility. That, 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 that clip that you replayed there when he asked for forgiveness and forgive, I think that's, that, that, that's, that, that will be immortal. Uh, may God rest his soul in eternal peace. Yes. Of you. course, uh, we, we'll hold you for a while. You leave at 8.30. And uh, we want just to take a station break right now. When we circle back, we shall hear from uh, Mythika Linturi as it is. Uh, but uh, I've been touched by Matangi by what you say that he went or he traveled 240 kilometers yes. to actually sell a cow to buy a Bible. Yeah. And we saw he was not really.